El único 50 dólares que tuve, pero este Pokéball, el 8, es muy simpático y muy guapo. Oh. Pero no, María, no, no, no me dejas, María. No, no, María, ma no, María, María, ¿por qué, ¿por qué me dejaste, María? <laughs> What's going on, Bruce? Welcome back to this week's Cards Going Up. Cards going down and cards getting pumped all around. This week we will be talking about a grand total of 16 raw Pokemon cards, 7 special illustration rares, 9 illustration rares. That's right, this week is going to be exclusively Scarlet and Violet era. Alright, just not too much going on in a positive light in the Sword, sword and Shield. The springtime was the season of Sword and Shield. Summer is all about this era scarlet and violet especially illustration rares like this summer has just been if it wasn't for greninja if greninja didn't exist like this summer would just straight up be all about illustration rares stick to the end of the video because there's one very 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 iconic scarlet and violet era card that um everyone loves everyone loves this card um but it just so happens to be cheaper than ever like this specific card that i'm about to I'm gonna tell you about it at the end of the video. As soon as I'm done editing, I'm actually gonna go out and buy this card myself. And then real quick, we're gonna get into it right now. But my last video, if PSA 10 grading and flipping and just making a, a large amount of money on, I mean, to be honest, even really cheap Pokemon cards, talking like $5 Pokemon cards that go for like way, well over $100 in a PSA 10 slab, definitely check out my last video, uh, this one right here. Yeah, and uh, not gonna lie, kind of a funny intro. Madness. This is Paldea! Alright, enough. Let's get into it. Alright guys, here we go. Cards of the week. Alright, here we go. So Venusaur. It's like a beautiful, beautiful Venusaur from Scarlet and Violet 151. So it was $45, $45.62. Let's go. That was the three month. Let's look at the one month. One month start around $42. Bucks. Uh, we're up to $46. Point is, Venusaur and all the Scarlet and Violet era 151 SIRs were like the epitome of consistency from the moment they came out. Uh, but Venusaur just is, is moving. Venusaur is moving. That's not common lately. Uh, over the last six months at all for any Scarlet and Violet SIR. But that chart looks good. Let's hurry up. Let's move on. Let's go to Paldea. So Paldea, Wu Chen, I'm an absolute sucker for the duo color tone of silver and green. I think silver and green is so underrated. And so I've actually always really, really liked this Wu Chen EX. Let's look right now. So it's $9.51. That's on the three month. One month. Ooh, that looks good. Is this an all-time high? Okay, so it came. Okay, so May second, I believe, is it May second when Palde came out last year? So this, it, you know, it's been out a little over a year. But over the last year on the one-year chart, we are essentially getting back to its all-time high. That's really good for Wu Chen, especially because of the four. I feel like people really only like uh, Chi and Pao, and the other three are kind of like whatever. But yeah, Wu Chen Paldeer, um looks good. And here's another Paldeer SIR Tinglu. It's not as impressive as Wu Chen, but it's still something. On the three month, we go from about six forty up to eight dollars. So that's a nice little twenty, you know, twenty percent bump or whatever. On the one month, you can see it's you know it's bouncing around. But here, let's get the big picture. So we went from twelve all the way down to six, cut in half, and now we're back up to eight. So you know, when you're searching hard for SIRs on the week, uh, Ting Lu does make the cut, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, mainly because of this three-month chart that you see here at $8. Looks really good on the three-month for Tang Lu. Okay, so pumpers. Let's talk about a card that everyone was messaging me about on Thursday and Friday. The amount of copies that were purchased gobbled up on TCG Player on like the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is extraordinary. But here's the thing. So we had the lowest of the low at 32. Kieran was only that cheap for not, not too long. Feel like it was kind of it felt like it was always a $40 card up until this pump but yeah so it was about a $40 yeah about a $40 card up until this pump Thursday uh, um, lots and lots and lots of copies got bought up your your lowest available shot up to like 80 or something dollars 
I don't know. The point is, I think the Pokemon community, the people, you know, we're getting wise to this TCG pumper stuff. I think we're finally realizing that FOMO is a thing and we're not all FOMOing into these cards. And so I, this card, so Eevee was last week's pump that we talked about, and now like this week's new pump is Kieran. So for the Eevee to, you know, what would what, it go? Like 50 to 67, it went to 70. Okay, it was, it was a decent pump, okay? Uh, and I think it's already like 65. Uh, Kieran though, as we see, 40 up to 54. Um, let's compare these two pumps to let's say from Temporal Forces just a couple months ago, okay? So with Temporal Forces, uh, we had the Iron Crown and the Ghastly pump, and we, we actually had a Morty pump. We had a bunch of pumps, okay? Um, but in those pumps, the pumpers themselves, so they buy up the copies and they hurry up and sell them for triple quadruple before it crashes back down. So the people who pumped Iron Crown from 40 up to $200 and it even sat at 120, 130, 140 for a whole week or two, allowing those pumpers to make a ton of money on their own pump. That worked really well. Ghastly, same thing. It went from being a $20 card and it went up to 200 for like an hour and then it went down to 60 and 50 and there was a lot of gains for those pumpers on those two temporal force pumps and even morty to some extent to make the money whereas eevee pump and kieran pump they weren't near as effective just not i mean yes the pumps did do something obviously so kieran went from 40 and now kieran's up you know so kieran's up like 20 percent but if this kieran pump happened three months ago, this might be a hundred dollar card. You know, I, I think the pumping, the jig is up. I think a lot less people are buying into the FOMO and they're saying, all right, it'll go back down. I think a lot of content creators like myself have done a great job of making sure you guys know that this is pumper activity. You know, you look at the recent sales, look at this. This is somebody clearly buying more expensive copies of the card that they don't need to be buying. Yada, yada, yada. You know, I've gone down through here and done this with you guys on some previous videos over the last few weeks. The point is the Kieran pump was mildly successful, probably not near as successful as these pumpers wanted it to be. And that is good. Just like the Eevee pump, Gasly's pump was way, way more effective, way stronger than the Eevee pump. So, and if anything, you would think Eevee got, would get pumped successfully stronger than Gasly. Okay, there we go. So all I'm saying is the jig is up, pumpers, knock it off. Okay, we know what you're up to. We know you're just trying to steal our money. Kieran, they tried and they got an extra 10 bucks out of us, it looks like, okay? So there you go, Kieran, little dinky pump, little dinky pump. So speaking of pumping, I wanna talk about two other SIRs that are in Twilight Masquerade. And when I'm thinking about value and whether or not I should buy a card, I think about upside versus downside. I think about what's the floor if I get in now versus what's the ceiling, okay? A couple months ago, I was telling you straight up word for word, I said this, Groudon, Paradox Rift, would you rather pay 30 or $35 for it now and then risk what maybe it goes down to 25 bucks so you risk five dollars in value maybe you know that's like the worst case scenario i envisioned at the time would you rather just buy it for 30 30 35 now risk you know going down in value a little or not buy it for 35 now or 30 now and watch it go all the way up to 60 you know and yeah so over the next two months it went up to 60 now it's at 50. the point is you were probably risking maybe a downside of five dollars to make sure you secured your grout on before it got pumped or shot up to the moon okay so for those of you that listen to me it was a good job so based on that alana's aid in sinestia ex okay we already know this set is difficult sir pull rate uh-huh uh-huh so when i look at downside first of all these four masks one two three or three of the four masks not the very playable teal mask but these three what's the downside 22 18 and 18 these if there any of these twilight masquerades are gonna be a ten dollar eight dollar nine dollar sir it's probably these three right yeah the red one the blue one the black one we could all easily imagine these sirs being eight or nine dollars six months down the road right whereas Sinestia and lana these two are not silly masks that people don't like. These are just not the more favorable of the other cards, all right? So in my opinion, you know, are the pumpers next week gonna go after Lana and Lana's aid? You know, they might, it, they absolutely might. Or Sinestia, probably not. I'm just saying the downside on these two SIRs 
you know, maybe I think lawn is the worst case scenario is it goes down to 20, 25 bucks, you know? So what I'm saying is if you want to secure your lawn at now just to avoid having to think and worry about it getting pumped or going up on some BS in the future, it's probably not a bad buy to just buy Lana for 30, 33 bucks. Same with Sinestra, 20, 23 bucks. That way, if anything does happen to it, if they do get manipulated, you know, you got your copy and your master set or your collection. You don't even have to think about it or worry about it anymore. You know, so Lana's Aid and Sinestra actually pulled Lana, but Sinestra, I am, I have actually, I am trying to go buy a Sinestra. So yeah, I'm probably going to go buy Sinestra today, to be honest. All right. So there you go. That's just my thoughts. I think they're low risk and avoid them, you know, becoming too expensive. All right, now let's get into the IRs, illustration rares. Everyone's favorite new rarity tier, including mine. Bang. Gloom. This card in Japanese, Ruler of the Black Flame. I own more of this card than any Pokemon card ever. I, <laughs> it's just a fact. I do. So Gloom, Obsidian Flames, look at the three month. It, the, the night uh, Ruler of the Black Flame came out, I just it was so cheap right off the rip, and it's so beautiful. I literally bought a, a lot, like 30 or something. So 30, it's not a ton, but I own a, a large amount of this artwork. Uh, but yeah, so here we go. Three month, we got uh, three bucks on the low, and we're up to 450 on the high. It's a dollar fifty, but think of it from a percentage standpoint. That is a large uptick on the one month. You see, uh, yeah, up, up, up. Let's go to six month real quick. Uh, yeah, so it's a complete bulk IR, and then now it's actually making some nice positive gains. And it's essentially a horseshoe its way all the way back to its all-time high. Good for you, Gloom. This card is absolutely awesome. I love Gloom. Gloom is my favorite Stage 1 Pokemon, and has been literally since 1999. Just the, the middle child evolutionary of the three, I've just always loved Gloom, the, the Stage 1. Alright, let's look at Marl. This week's Paldea Evolved IR to go up in price. So, pachoo! So, yeah, Paldea Evolved is so rich and full of valuable IRs that there's literally like S tier Paldea IRs. Now there's A tier Paldea IRs, which is what this one belongs to. Then there's B tier, which you got like Bax Caliber at the top of that list. There's so, there's 36. So, they literally have subgroups of awesomeness. That's how many awesome, valuable, uh, uh, IRs there are in Paldea, but uh, yeah, so six month here we go da 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 seven seven fifty eight But then pew, okay, let's take a zoomed in pew, okay zoomed in pew This is just cards following cards like the similar type of cards. So Marl is just joining the party Okay, I think Marl is officially joined the party a lot of people love these uh, uh, underwater or wa water wa water water blah, 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 Artwork cards because uh, I don't know SV era is doing them and doing a lot of them, but they're doing a lot of them really well Except for that terrible, terrible whooper card. All right, let's go to Magby. Paradox Rift, Magby. This is a lot of... I, I don't... I think I might have mentioned this in a previous video, so I should have included this maybe at the end, but I can't quite remember. All I know is Magby was at $8, then Magby went down to $7 now, and Magby is essentially $9. Let's go zooming out real quick. As you can see, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, all the way since essentially January 1st. Nothing but higher lows on Magby. Beautiful card. Who knows if it'll be following a Veltol or not, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Magby's looking good. Cool card. Very similar in vibe to the Groudon. All right, Riolu messing stuff up. Lucario frame in the background. How do you do that? You think about how strong you got to be to do that to a Dunbell. Like, lit, I'm, I guess you can't see my pointer. But yeah, on the card, the Dunbell is just wrecked. That is insane. So this is coming up to be a ten, uh, ten dollar double digit card. So on the one month, you see it was down at about seven fifty, and now it's up to about ten. Let's look at the three month. Oh my gosh, a little escalator on up. Let's look at that six month. We had the low of five dollars, so it's almost double what it was in April. Whoa, really? It's so cool. You should clean up your room, by the way. <laughs> Litten. It's uh, this one's not too crazy. I think the artwork is fantastic. There's all these little kitty cameos everywhere. And a little meowth in there. But yeah, so uh, what is it? It's 557. All right, uh, yeah. So Temporal Forces, let's let's quick do a zoom out. So essentially, uh, I guess it's spiked to up to five. But yeah, this Litten's essentially at an all-time high. It had a $6. It's at $6 again. So Litten's doing all right. It's a great Litten. It's a great little $6 card. It's doing good. So yeah, Litten. It's a fun card. Fun little fun card. Which one's the main, the actual Litten? Is there just two Littens? Or is this the, I don't know. Because one of these could be like a plush and then the other one could be the actual Pokemon. 
I don't know. All right. So, all right. So now let's get into real quick cards that were on this list last week or the week before, and they just keep on climbing. So who keeps on climbing? Let's uh, let's go with the fox from Obsidian Flames. Nine tails. Look at that. Look at that. Pew. So nine tails it just keeps on chugging, 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 chugging. One of these days it's finally gonna crash a little bit. Let's be honest. But uh, but we went from a five dollar card just not even two months ago. Literally, and now we're at 13 bucks. We're almost going to like a Veltal and Steelix and Purif territory. Okay, like whoa, like this card is worth this would be the fourth most expensive in Paldea Vault. Dang, that's actually saying something. So, 13 bucks for Nine Tails and the PSA 10. I kept telling you guys over the last couple weeks it was coming up on 100 bucks. PSA 10 and Nine Tails is well over a hundred dollars now. That happened, so yeah, PSA 10. It is just a very valuable, and that's part of the reason this card is going up, because more people are figuring that out. All right, Arbuck. Arbuck. So I've talked, obviously, that's why it's in this at the end of the video. We've already talked about this card. This card is awesome. This will be the third time I've said that I love Arbuck. I love the toucan. I love the moon in the background. I've literally said that three times, I think, over the last three weeks. Uh, but here it is. Ding, 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 ding. We have 750 Five bucks up to 750 Look at this, three month, whew. Okay, so let me get the full picture here. Way, way, way out of all time high. This card was like three, I swear it was even, yeah, I was gonna say, this was literally like three bucks on release. I was like, you guys know this is from Kanto, right? Aren't we supposed to Kanto simp out on this card? No, cause it's a silly, silly snake. All right, now let's go to another one, Infernape. Infernape's been doing great. The great ape named Infernape. So there's your one month, 11, $12 card now. Shwee! Shwee! There it is. Six month. Shwee! We don't need to do that because it's, you know, a brand new card. But yeah, so Infernape's doing great. I'm not a huge fan of this card, but apparently a lot of people are. Yeah, yeah, so good for you. All right, now let's take a look at... Uh, I don't know what I just said there. Eevee is what I meant to say. Eevee! 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 So again, a successful pump two weeks ago. Um, but probably not as successful as the the pumpers would have liked But yeah, but now let's hold on so here. We go. We're at 20 20 40 and we hit the f 48 and then let the the floodgates open 70 and then now we're seeing how EV handles that and it looks like a stairway back down to 50 if I had to guess so if this little little bastard goes down to 50 I think that's fair I think that's a good price that's a compromise for the people who want it to be worth a lot versus the people that don't think it should be worth a lot it, it, I think in the future this card should be worth more than 50 bucks for sure but I don't know 50 bucks right now is a nice compromise and the PSA 10 is well over $300 okay these PSA 10s a lot of people don't realize how expensive these IRs are going for and that actually has a lot to do with why they're going up in price and raw. All right, so now uh, the video or the uh, the the card that if you were in the market for now is absolutely the time. I would 100% jump on this card. Either put it in your mind and consider jumping on it over the next week. Watch where it goes, see where it bounces, whatever. Either way, now is definitely the time if you are interested uh, in buying Iono. Yeah, the the Paldean evolved crazy waifu. El Waifu Loco, okay? Is she, I mean, should I, who cares? I already said it. All right. Anyway, she is way low, way low. This card is down under $70 for the first time ever. This is a card that I sold raw the day Paldea came out for $170. Now it is worth under $70. PSA 10 isn't even worth as much as I sold the raw one for. So let's look at the one year, which doesn't tell the whole story. Uh, because it starts in June, you know, is already well, well, well down off its highs from May. Uh, 100, and then six month. It was just right here. So, okay, so it's a three month, about the end of last month. And then one month is just in a little boop. So, a little boop. I'm just saying the boop might be the time to buy. Buy the boop, guys. Buy the boop. Sorry. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to actually go out and buy this card as soon as I'm done editing this video. So, yeah. So, if you don't own it, now might be a good time to own it. It is super duper cheap compared to how she usually is. All right. 
Okay, let's go back to me. All right. So, guys, there it is. This was all Scarlet and Violet era. Like I said, this summer has been just all about the illustration rares. Uh, real quick, what should I leave you guys with? Oh, I'm going to work on that uh, Q&A video. I'm actually working on that Q&A video where I'm going to answer your questions. So that's coming up. That'll be my next video. Shrouded Fable, it looks like it sucks. All right. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces! Thank you.